Well, first of all, um, like everyone else, when you get the phone call, my dad calls me on the phone and says, son, you got to call Joe. I said, okay, dad, it's Joe. Joe. It's Joe. Got to call Joe. Joe Maddox. I said, okay, dad, I'll call Joe. All right, you got to give him a call. I said, dad, dad, why am I calling Joe Maddox? Because just give him a call, son. I said, Dad, I'm not calling Joe and Alex Byrne until you tell him why I called Joe and Alex Byrne. So he tells me, you know, you're being inducted into the Hall of Fame, and that's how we found out. And at first I was like, man, I, you know, I didn't know we had a Hall of Fame. And uh, when I talked with Joe on the phone, uh, I was excited to hear that we had a Hall of Fame. He was telling me about how it got organized, and this would be the third year. And so, uh, obviously, I'm truly grateful. And very excited that uh, the Christian Brothers has decided to have a Hall of Fame. Um, I think it's, it's, it's great to honor your athletes and your students. Um, I'm glad you guys have formed that, and I hope the tradition carries forward. Um, so thank you to the Hall of Fame for having all of us here and, and inviting me into this. Uh, <clears throat> I really need to thank my parents next, Jack and Warner Schenkel. Uh, my dad coached here for the women's program for several years, and he also helped Coach Boot for several years, assistant head coach. And they pretty much started it all. I mean, when we were little, they took us to the Memphis Rogues games. And if you grew up in Memphis, we played it over at the Liberty Bowl Stadium. It was NASL. I think I was eight years old at the time. Man, I love those games. And in Memphis, it's interesting. This city has always had a strong soccer connection and influence. Uh, more so than any other cities in the southeast at the time. We had a pro team here. So when you were a kid growing up, you constantly had someone to go to. Like a young man playing basketball now, you've got the Grizzlies. When I was a young man, we had pro soccer. We had NESL, and then we had the Memphis Americans at the Coliseum. And they would pack that place out. And as a kid, I loved watching those games, and I was influenced by those guys. And the first time I remember seeing Coach Boot was a Memphis Americans. He was our goalkeeper. I think you were number 24. 20? 24. 24. Coach Boot and his wife, Viola, are from Poland. They came here, um, <clears throat> he came here to play professional soccer. And Coach Boot played for the Memphis Americans. He was a professional goalkeeper in Poland for years, and he started coaching, as most people do in their sports. Eventually, they want to give back, just like any other professional in their industry. If you're a teacher, if you're a soccer person, you want to give back to your community. Coach Boot started coaching us, and, uh, and from there, he stayed in this community. Um, when I was searching for colleges, I really wasn't sure uh, I didn't think I was going to stay here. I had some options. I just knew that I wanted to go to school for free. I didn't want to pay for it. <laughs> and I wanted to play soccer. And then third, I needed a small school. Um, and I was really wanting to find that with academics to try to get the best of both worlds. And Coach Boot, he really didn't recruit. He didn't recruit me. He didn't recruit anybody. But he did have one conversation with me. And his question was, do you want to play pro? And I said, absolutely. You know, that's, that's what I want to do. I want to play pro soccer. So he said, you play with me, I'll make you pro. And that was it. That was the whole conversation. So I said, okay. And next thing you know, Coach Stevenson, who was the athletic director at the time, me because my grades weren't so great. We had to work through some things. And uh, I came on and work study. My job was to cut the soccer field. And then Coach Boot took me on, and here I was playing. And uh, Coach Boot, he, he was good on his word. I eventually did it. I did make it to pro. And um, it, it just took a little while at first. When you hear Coach, because he's from Poland, he has an accent. And sometimes when you come from another country, the verbs or different places other than like English, they put verbs in different places. So when Coach, he's over there laughing, but when Coach would, would tell us to do things, when you first as a freshman, you're standing there in awe at first because you're not quite sure what you heard, 
And then when he says it again, you know that you didn't hear or understand, but you just start running. Because, <laughs> so I would like to say just a few, a few things and see if you guys can figure out what this means <laughs> that Coach Boot would say to us. And I have a teammate back in the back, Jeff O'Connor, and a bunch of other our teammates. So, you know, before I get to these little statements that Coach Boot would make, some of the best parts about this is Facebook. When we all found out that I was going to be in the Hall of Fame, all the teammates start reaching out, and everything was just goes directly to Coach Boot and all the things that he used to say to us, because some of these things are crazy. Uh, let's see. Some of the things that Coach Boot would say, let's see if you guys can get this one. Why will you do this? Why will you do this? Which means, why did you do this? <laughs> Cut him and ball. Cut him and ball. And that means cut him and the ball. Meaning when you slide tackle, make sure the guy falls down, but be sure to sweep the ball away too. <laughs> the one that I heard the most that I remember, and there's there's hundreds. I actually gave them a list, and people worked on a list. There's probably 50 of these things. Why do you not pass the ball? But, you know, why didn't you pass the ball? So, playing under him, uh, he was one of those coaches that had the ability, which is rare, that you respected him and you feared him. And the other thing that he could do is he could back it up. If he's teaching you how to kick a ball in the top left corner of the goal, he would show you and he would do it. Over and over and over and over. And it's very rare to find a coach that can do that. And it's a gift. And it's a gift that he has and he's had for several, several years and he's still coaching today. And he's had a lot of players that come through that have made it on past college ranks and played professional soccer. I just happened to be lucky enough and smart enough that when he said, I'll make you pro, I came to Christian Brothers, and it was a great decision for me. I got the best soccer coach that I've ever had, and I thank you for that. And I had the best education, education that I could possibly get. Christian Brothers, like many people have said, is brothers. When you hear Dr. Sal and Dr. Ed, uh, Brother Edmund, all these other brothers, I could call these guys at 10.30 or go over to where they were living and they would help you study. And we did it a lot. That's something that's very special uh, about this place. It's a great place to go to school. And it's a great place to play sports. Um, the soccer team evidently, I mean, it's always been a great, great soccer program. It still is. I think uh, Clint Brown is the coach now. I think he won Coach of the Year this year. They said they almost won. Uh, they almost won the title. I think they went pretty far. So Coach Boot started the soccer program. 1985. So I wanted to, you know, thank you, Coach Boot, for everything that you've done for me. Not only did you teach me how to play soccer, but more importantly, you taught me you know, how to live my life after soccer. You've taught me, and I didn't know it at the time, and you just don't. Until 15 years later, you come back and you're thinking, you know, that's what that guy was yelling at me about. He may not even have, you know, why you pass ball and all the things, because he was, he was very firm. He held you accountable. And it just transfers into life. And you don't know it until now. But you've made me a better person. And, uh, and I really appreciate the university asking me about this. Great, graciously accepted. And thank you for having me.